Aldous and I are going to try to recover some of our lost memories, at least I hope they aren't too lost, of our childhood and boyhood. Now, let's go back. Let's now, go back. now then, we've had the benefit of an expert who's made this thing work. Let us hope that it's all right. Again. again, there was a young lady of Spain who was terribly sick in the train. Not once, but again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. I want to put this up. Remember to put this up at about eight, oh, yes. seven or eight. Uh, that is, eight. what is that? The speed? The volume. The volume. Right. Well, now, that's going to be... Now, all this it's nice to have you here, and I was wondering if you, if we could recall some of the incidents of our childhood. For instance, um, I, what I remember about you very, very early is you going around with a little doll, a very primitive kind of doll, and then later on, uh, you being looked after by Fräulein Ella, and then we finding you once in a perambulator, which in, oh yes, in Margaret's pram, which was much too small for you, and we called you the Ogre Baby, and therefore the nickname of Ogie. Do you remember anything of all this? I remember the doll very well. The doll was a rag doll, and, uh, and I'm trying to remember its name. It was almost faceless, and was, it had no clothes, but I was very attached to it. Was it in the perambulator? I thought it was in Margaret's cot. Oh, it was I think it was in the yes. cot. Um, well, I remember a sort of pink cot, uh, and uh, it coming protruding at either end from it, which I think was the origin of the yoga baby. I was that, was, yes. And then, of course, well, when did Fräulein Ella come? What year was it? Do you remember that? Well, it must have been very early, because sure, sure, I think when I was about... Two, uh, oh, yeah. I, I think it was as a, yes, I'm sure it may, even, may have been even earlier, because as I remember the little diary which Mother kept, Fräulein Ella appears very, very early in that. Yes. And then, uh, do you remember Roger and Tom Eckersley being in the house when, when their father was in Mexico? Uh, I remember vaguely. I mean, they were sort of large uh, figures who were floating in and out yes. of, the, of the house. But of course... Um, the difference in age at that right. period is so enormous that it's like living in another universe, isn't it? Yes. Then, wh what a, then you started your education, didn't you, with various governesses, like um, the Paris governess and so on, and then you went on to the Mrs. Noon, is that right? Uh, the, yes, the Mrs. Noon, who wore eaten collars. It was a very strange fashion. You remember the... Uh, rather intellectual ladies at that age would wear these neat uh, blouses and then these regular Eton collars with little bow ties. I'm just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I remember very well once the mother and father laughing a great deal, the Mrs. Noon were very, uh, rather intellectual, and their reports were couched in very highfalutin language. And once the report on you at the age, I suppose, of about six came back, saying mathematics remains in statu quo. Do you remember that? Uh, I don't remember the, the mathematics teaching. I remember very well being le the, uh, learning to read. Uh, they had, I must say, it was very advanced methods because they... Uh, they introduced into the process of learning muscular activity. Oh. One sort of took two steps forward for the first syllable, one step to the right for the next syllable. Uh, it, was, uh, it was excellent, I, I think. I mean, this is uh, the best kind of uh, you know, modern sort of all-round pedagogy which they were practicing. Oh, very interesting. 